As Jack Watson reports, four local volunteers are among the first in the nation to receive a test vaccine. Well, this vaccine is now in the stage before it can be widely produced and distributed. Today, we learn more about the research happening here in Rochester to try making that happen. So we feel very privileged to um, be at the forefront here. Research being done to end COVID-19 has a place in our backyard. Your MC Dr. Ann Falsey says those Rochester volunteers are a big help. It's helpful for people to have some control and to feel like they can... Uh, moves the science along. And so by participating in a trial, they're they're doing just that. Those four volunteers ranging in age from their 20s to their 70s. This isn't the only trial going on around the globe, and having several potential vaccines could be a good thing, so says Dr. Edward Walsh. It's, it's quite possible, if not perhaps likely, that um, if one of these vaccines is effective, the others will be as well. They're looking for more volunteers so they can track how the potential vaccine does. Now, in addition to the people that have already signed up, we are specifically looking for folks that are at high risk by virtue of their circumstance or their occupation. So, you know, people that are out there, bus drivers, barbers, waitresses, EMTs. The goal here is to get an immune response from patients. The research being done here in Rochester could get us closer to that. In Rochester, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, thank you, Jack. Because of the disproportionate impact COVID-19 has had on people of color, local researchers are looking for black and Latinx families to participate in the vaccine trials. The FDA has approved the vaccine for a phase three trial, so it is moving along.